Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. What has not been said about this game? It's a classic. It's based off of an arcade game that we all loved from childhood. And, well, I'm going to take a look at this game and see, does this really hold up to the test of time? Or as everything we've been thought about this game been through rose-colored glasses? Let's take a look. So what is up with this name? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game? I mean, is this the second game that's also the, an arcade game, or is this an arcade game? Well, you remember this was published by Ultra. Ultra was part of Konami, and the reason why they published also underneath this name is that, well, Nintendo had limitations to how many games you could publish, Per year so they decided to create ultra which was part of konami and the reason why it's number two if people simply forget is this bad boy teenage mutant ninja turtles by ultra and it just was the original game this is infamous for its difficulty and it's not this is not the best copy i didn't own this as a kid i picked this up at a pawn shop but unlike this one the second one I own this well this is my copy from a kid from my childhood I even got the the awesome instruction manual oh look there's a valuable Pizza Hut coupon on the back I wonder if I could oh yeah I think I'm kind of late December to 1999 1991 but oh well I didn't ever redeem this or even turned around and you know tried to solely the, the structure manual because I wanted to keep this game and if we talk about ultra let's take a look at some of the things that came from ultra here's the nice uh, poster came with snakes revenge mission impossible silent service kings of the beach cubert uh, gyrus and on the back oh yeah skater died defender of the crown the original metal gear and there's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles we all know and love. So there's where the name comes from. That's why it's kind of confusing and why it's kind of titled Second Game, but it's the arcade game. So let's take a look at what this game really looked like on the, on the Nintendo Entertainment System and compare it to the arcade game and see how it fared. When I first plugged this game in as a kid, I wasn't sure what I was going to get from the arcade game. And when I saw this first intro, I was very delighted, very happy. And then I started fighting right here. First level, you got to see all this cool fire below. And sure, it's not the arcade, but it was really nice for the NES to be able to do this. And Konami slash Ultra really did a great job. You get to see there's not as many enemies on the screen at once, but it's still really fun. Fluid game looks really good and if you see at their top there's limited to two players at least they got two players in this I mean the first first double dragon only had one player and if you look at Rocksteady here it's, it's interesting a few things they did uh, the color palette for him is just black and white but look around the entire room it's a lot of color so you'll see this here a bit soon when we show Bebop but still for the graphics the NES Rocksteady is a big character there's a lot of big sprites on the screen and it's a really really nice uh, representation of the arcade game and as I continue to fight him here I mean it's a little it, it is I found that this game was a little bit more challenging than the uh, arcade game in certain cases but the arcade game was of course a quarter cruncher it's meant to take your lives and you know I'm just powering through this not really playing like I should but I did refer pretty well and here we get to see another little thing from the arcade game a great thing where Shredder grabs April O'Neil and jumps out the window and that was so nice to see that and as of course, you know, later on as you go through the game, and I'm only going to show the first two levels here, you know, you get to see Shredder in the background there on that television, which is not as good as the arcade, but where he actually talks and he says he's going to die on turtle soup. But still, they represent the arcade game as best they could. And I really thought that was great of them. Um, you know, you get to see all the little nuances here where people popping up out of the manholes. And, and it really is great to, to see that there's enough attention to detail to where it, or it came through on the, on the later version of the game, the third game on the NES, which I didn't get around to playing. And of course, then when they redid Tur they brought Turtles in Time, it was great. So here we get to see Bebop, and uh, right before, well, right before Bebop here. 
And you know, you see some of the color palettes, you know that car is pretty much a monochrome, not monochrome, it's really just two color, grays and whites, and when Bebop comes down, you'll see he has two colors, really. And again, there's probably a limit to the color palette, but he still is a huge sprite. Now, let's move on to the arcade game, and wow. <laughs> This is awesome. I mean, you even see Michelangelo fall down. They did that on the NES. Of course, you got all the nice uh, voices in here. Now, the fire is ridiculously nice, but the, the, for them to do what they did on the NES and to match this, it was fantastic what they did. And, you know, it just comes to show you that there's a lot of love put into that translation. And I tell you, I do play a little bit longer in the arcade game because it's uh, it is the classic I really loved, even though I, of course, love the NES version. You know, and I do think uh, that one thing they miss is the comboing system here. And I'm gonna, like you see there, I can combo somebody, and I'm not gonna rag on it too much. I will explain it here after we get done watching these, uh, watching this gameplay. But that's one thing they did change in the home version like right there that's a, that's a good little combo you can just do you really can't do that in the, in the nes you hit somebody you have to back away hit them again or just jump kick that really threw me off as a kid but here we get to see the rock steady fight in all its glory and you get to see all the nice talking and he is not monochrome but really uh the the size and the aspect ratio compared of everything compared to the nes version the nes did a really really good job I really am, you know, really impressed with it. And right there, I had a PC freeze. A good old antivirus scan kicked in. And, of course, we get to see now the arcade version of Shredder jumping out the window, which is fantastic. But still, what we saw in NES was a great and faithful representation. And we see, you know, level two with, uh, going toward uh, the fight of Bebop. It's still, you know, it's a nicer, better-looking version, of course, being the arcade. But the NES version really did well representing the arcade game so good hats off to konami slash ultra for doing what they did and of course we're coming up here on the bebop fight so we'll get to see good old bebop here and and like i said before you know the color palettes uh were limited on the nes and whoop <laughs> i did not do very well there so you know here comes bebop and we get to see more of the talking i like to yeah it's just that's funny as hell and you just couldn't do that on the nes but, as you can see here, the difference is, you know, it's, it's, it's just really the arcade versus NES. And what they did on the on the NES was fantastic. I have to just say, it really did bring this home. You couldn't have four players, but that was fine. You really had a great, great game. And you got the essence of the arcade game, which is such a massive hit. That, I have to say, you know, look, still looking back, comparing them. You can't compare them in, in presentation, but what we got on NES was a fantastic conversion. I think I, like everybody else, was just happy to have this game. From the fantastic cabinet art with the real life April O'Neil and the turtles coming right at us, this really brought us into the arcade and when you got to see that four player cabinet, man you know you're in for a great game. This is why it's one of the greatest classic arcade games ever. Well that was a great trip down memory lane. I've had a lot of fun doing this video. I uh, got the idea of talking on Game Ramblings, which is right here. You should watch us, uh, Game Ramblings with Cyrus Martin and I. And we was talking about he's gonna do a video on the original one, which I put back in my, my shelf, and I was gonna do a video on this one. You know, there's a lot of good memories with this game. For me, actually getting to look at the box when I couldn't, you know, my parents had, hadn't got it for me yet. You could ask the people around the counter in Walmart to give it to you. There weren't really cases, at least in my area about then. You, and I stared at this box and I stared at the back of it. And then when I finally got it, I remember just tearing, not tearing into it, but just pouring over every inch of this, this, car, this box until I got home and I loved every bit of it. Though, like I said at the beginning of this video, I said, Did, can this game stand the test of time? Are we looking at it through rose-colored glasses? And, you know, as the picky old gamer, I was actually picky as a kid. There's a couple things that, that nitpick about this version compared to the arcade. The first thing, and I mentioned it a little bit ago when you was watching the gameplay, is the fighting. In the arcade, in a lot of other games, and this could, this happens on NES games too, so you could have this. You had the combo system, pa, 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 you know. You knocked the enemy down. You could even do that to bosses. 
not on this game. Ultra, I mean Konami slash Ultra decided to go with you hit them and then they could hit you unless you hit them, you backed away and you hit them again. I remember as a kid when I first started playing this game, I was throwing off them like, what the hell is going on here? This is not playing like I like I played out in the arcade and it didn't. And I never do did like the battle system. I still don't like the battle system in this game. That is a huge gripe that I always had about it from a kid as a picky young gamer to a picky old gamer. And I don't like it. I used to actually fight this game and beat it by jump kicking almost 100% because it was just easier for me. Um, and the other thing about it was the, the, the difficulty was pretty high in this game. Sure, we've heard NES hard, but if I didn't do the 10 lives code in this game, I, with the three continues, I couldn't make it all the way through because right when you get to Kang, you had to fight one boss who's a big rock monster with a rocket launcher. Then you had to fight Kang. And then you had to fight Shredder with his double. It was like, oh my gosh. And I think they added a lot of stuff in there. Now, that probably that may have been in the arcade. I never got, I've never beat the arcade game all the way through. I need to to find a copy of it and well I do have a copy of it that I can emulate that's how I got some of the images and or the video I mean but they did add you know right here you see two extra levels there is a snow level and an oriental level these things were interesting and neat and they really did expand the game man they were hard at first there's a snowman who you know came out of there and had those heat seat the missiles and shit man Though, as much as I, I, I'm nitpicking, this is who I am. I'm a picky gamer. I think I've always been picky. Does this game stand up to the test of time? Yes, it does. We got a fantastic conversion of, the, of an arcade classic as best as a Nintendo Entertainment System could do. We got two-player action. We got vibrant colors, great controls. Great music and sound. A couple things that certain people like myself nitpick over, but some people just don't care. What will I give this now is the Picky Old Gamer score? I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. I don't rate a lot of stuff, but since this is my ride, I give it 8.5 out of 10. A half point off for being a little extra difficult when it didn't really need to be. The game was kind of difficult as is, but I count a whole point off for the fighting system. I didn't like it. I still don't like it. But this is a fantastic game. I've had great fun here going through this game. I, I'm probably going to start playing it again just because. And I think I'm going to open this thing up right now when I get off this video and go through the manual and just have some more reminiscing. So I thank everybody for watching. I have loved doing this type of video. I'm going to try to do more videos like this, kind of an overture and kind of an ex, you know, and that's not professional. I'm not a professional at this yet. Well, I don't know if I'll ever be a professional, but I like trying to give an overture of a game and give you my whole sense of it. I'm thinking about doing this. My next one might be Mega Man 2. I really love that game as well. This is you know one of these games. I got it in the box too. So tell me what you think of this video. Do you like the styling I did? Do you like how I kind of put everything together? This is my opinion. You can, you, you know, for you, you might rate this a 10 out of 10. And there goes my cat. I swear. And, uh, you know, tell me what you think. Do you think, you know, some of my nitpicky things are just the way they are? Or do you think that, you know, maybe I'm a little bit a little picky. Did, was this one of the greatest games of your childhood as well? Did you get to play the arcade? Leave me some comments below. Subscribe. I appreciate everybody. I still, I'm over 200 subscribers. I'd like to keep on increasing, get all the pickiness out there to the, to the YouTubes. But um, I do appreciate and love everybody who subscribes to me and shares my videos. Follow me here on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and CrosshairTV.com. And oh yeah, SkirmishFrogs.com. This is going on SkirmishFrogs.com because it's retro. All right, everybody. Big Yo Gamer. Out.